Here we are on the very famous Bolt Street. So earlier um, this week I had an argument with a uh, driver, I mean a, a, a pedestrian. A pedestrian came along and said to me, this is a paved area. You can't cycle on this area, it's a paved area. I had to explain to him that you can drive on this area. You just, as much as it's paved, you can drive. And if you can drive, you can cycle, <laughs> okay? It's not, it's just common sense, isn't it? Here I am, just outside the Furwell Inquiry, just um, looking for people to interview. Good afternoon. This is not the uh, video I was planning to do today. Um, today, I was out on the streets from very early this morning um, and I was in the centre of Liverpool talking to people about the Lucy Letby case and I made some videos and uh, I was very excited to be honest with you. And I thought, yeah, this would be, you know, good to put on my channel and discuss, um, well, hear other people's views on the case. And also um, just, you know, a way of spreading the word and letting people, making people aware that we are not the only people who think the way we do about this case. But instead, the video I'm making is as a result of somebody sending me a message in my inbox. Um, a, about a month ago, maybe a bit more than a month ago, somebody contacted me, somebody had seen one of my videos about Lucy Letby, contacted me and asked me to join a Facebook group to do with Lucy Letby. And I thought, well, you know, I'm in a lot of groups on Facebook, um, but there's no harm in joining a group. And so I joined this group on Facebook and Every time I did a new video, I posted a link to the video, which was, the videos were doing quite fine without me posting links to this Facebook group. But I just thought it was courtesy as I joined the group, I'll post videos or post the links to the videos. Now, um, obviously of late recently, because I've been talking about this uh, private prosecution that I would like to initiate, assuming that other people are too busy doing other things to to do, to get to get that emotion, and um, yeah, I thought I was I was do well in my view. I still think it's the very much the right thing to do, and I thought well in order to do that. I would probably need to raise funds and the best some people have said why don't you do a just give in why don't you do you know some other form of fundraising and I thought no why not let the the purity of the videos and the responses raise the money because if there's enough people who believe that Lucy Letby is genuinely a victim of a miscarriage of justice then the channel will grow and any proceeds from that channel, this channel, could be used towards uh, helping her in particular. And then I thought, all right, this is going a bit slow. So maybe I could speed things up a bit by using my music that I've been sitting on for the last few years, unreleased, to kind of gain a bit more momentum for the cause. And not to benefit me whatsoever financially. I have no interest in making any money out of this. And so that was it. I thought, this is my donation. I've put a lot of years and, and my money into recording this music. And, you know, I, I sh some people would say maybe I should um, be looking to uh, recover some of the money I've spent on the music, but I love making music. And the, if my music can help somebody, then I'm happy for it to help somebody. 
And so I started sort of um, promoting promoting the fact that I might be releasing the music just to see what sort of feedback I would get. And the the only feedback I've got really, well, I have had some positive feedback, to be honest with you. There are some people who have put some really nice messages under the videos, but today I got the first real bit of negative feedback. Um, but it's from someone who runs the Facebook group that I was asked to join. Okay, so I'm not going to say any names, but as a result of getting that message, what what I was told actually was that that um, this person claims claims to be in touch with not just David Davies, but Mark McDonald, who is Lucy Letby's lawyer. I mean, for all I know, she probably hangs out with Lucy Letby, goes and visits her every week or something. I don't know. I don't know. You know? So she claims to be... But, she, you know, there's no receipts. There's nothing to say she's directly linked to any of these people. Um, and I do have links to MPs myself, as you've seen in my videos... Um, I have hung out with a lot of MPs in the past. Well, I was hanging out with the Prime Minister that day, but in my video. But previously, I've hung out with quite a lot of MPs. I know MPs. I know Boris Johnson. I, I've, I, I know quite a few. Oh, I've met Boris Johnson. I can't say I know Boris Johnson. I've met Boris Johnson. And I've communicated in writing with Boris Johnson on a number of occasions. Um, and same with David Cameron. Um, and... I have links to other prime ministers and other MPs. So it is possible for me to probably, you know, they, they say there's, what is it, six degrees of separation? So it's possible that I might be able to speak to someone who speaks to someone to speak to David Davies to find out whether this person really knows David Davies and is in communication with David Davies, which I have an open mind about. I have to keep an open mind. I don't know whether they do or they don't. But I would have thought if either Mark McDonald or David Davies had a problem with my videos, they would contact me directly, particularly because definitely Mark McDonald has my email address and my telephone number. And David Davies could quite easily get hold of it through his other MP colleagues or other people in the civil service. And neither one of those people have contacted me. So this person was kind of kind of insinuated that my um through and not directly by saying it directly but by indirectly saying what they've said they've kind of insinuated that my fund any funds I raise is going to be raised fraudulently perhaps to pocket myself or something like that which I really do take exception to you know I mean, I have put a lot of time and energy into this specifically to help Lucy Letby and nothing else, nothing else, not to promote myself. In fact, this is more likely to do my career harm than any good. You know, I've spoken to actors on set and quite a lot of them have said some horrible things about Lucy Letby, right? So it's not like in the acting fraternity that people think, you know, there are probably people who do support her but a lot of people don't support her. So me doing what I'm doing is risky, but I'm doing it because I believe in what I'm doing. And if I never ever get another acting job because I've done this, I don't care. I absolutely don't care. Because to me, somebody rotting in prison for the rest of their life for something they clearly did not do is not going to make me sleep well at night. And that is what's important to me, that I can sleep at night that I know I've done something to help that person. And so that's all it's about to me. So anyone insinuating that I'm doing something to line my pockets or to do whatever, you know what, they can take a running jump. And, uh, you know, I, I have no interest in communicating with them. I have nothing to do with them. You know, they probably saw the colour of my skin and thought, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, these black people, they're all up to sort of dodginess and all this or whatever goes through their tiny little minds. But they can keep it to their effing selves. OK, because you come at me with that. And, and you know what? You don't want to set me off. You just don't want to set me off. 
okay? So let's focus on what we're here to do. We're here to help Lucy Letby. I'm not into... And one of the reasons I left that group, I left that just literally deleted all my links from that group on Facebook and I left that group immediately. And the reason I did that because I don't want to be having conversation. This is a waste of my energy. This person sending me this message today was an absolute waste of their energy and it was a waste of my energy reading it after spending five hours out on the street talking to people about Lucy Letby. Because you're not doing that. I'm doing that. And I don't want my energy zapped when I get home by this negativity. And that's what I do. I cut negativity out of my life. I live on my own because I don't want negativity around me. Okay? So anyone who comes into my life, any Facebook group that comes into my life, any Facebook friend that comes into my life and displays that level of negativity they can take a running jump. I have no interest in them. And that's my rules. And that's been my rule for the last good 15 ye or, or so years. And my life has been bliss. It's been positive. I've had fantastic opportunities because of it. That would never have come my way if I had a negative mindset and allowed people who were negative, racist or whatever to, to fill my life with their bile. Okay. And this is the first real rant I'm having. I mean, personal rant, because I'm really offended, really, really offended by that communication and by the tone of the communication and the tone of what was said and the fact that this person probably has no receipts and probably made up whatever they said. You know, so that's that's all I've got to say about this. Anybody else who's got anything negative and or thinks anything negative about anything I'm doing, you're welcome to tell me your personal concerns and I will listen to them if they're justified. But if they're just stuff that you're pulling out of your ass and making up in your head because of the colour of my skin or because I'm from down south or because I live up north or because of you, I'm male and you're female, or whatever the hell goes on in your head. Keep it to yourself, because I don't want to hear it, and I will do a video about you. I don't want to hear your crap. So I'm just making that clear, and that's all I've got to say about this, and I'll leave it at that. I don't know when I will now post the interviews that I did with people on the streets, because I'm not in the mood to edit the videos, and I have to cut out a lot of stuff, edit out people's names, edit out people's faces in some of the interviews. And that take like, even the video I posted yesterday, that took a few hours to edit out all the stuff that I needed to edit out. And that was just one video, and I've got loads of videos to do. But, and I've got other things to do today. But I'm doing this with, in my own time, when I could be working I've just turned down some acting work in a show I want to be in because I want to concentrate on this. How dumb am I? How dumb am I? I don't care. As long as Lucy Letby gets out of prison, I don't care what anybody thinks. I don't care what you think. Keep it to yourself, really. Because the, the, the main thing is to get this woman out of prison. So anyway, that's the end of my rant. I'll leave it at that. Subscribe if you want to. I don't care if you don't subscribe. Like if you want to. I don't care if you like. I'm moving on.